Talk about can't stop, won't stop. Can't stop. Won't stop. He's someone you remember the the first time you meet him. You know what I mean? I don't I don't know anyone who doesn't remember Kosha Dills. Aside from that catchy name, Kosha Dills. I don't know if you know it's a play because he's Jewish. Kosha. Kosher sauces, frankfurters. <laughs> oh, like modest Yahoo. I'm like, no, it's it's different. Kosher deals. Oh my God. My homeboy, man, you already know. Star David Power. He's a white Jewish rapper. You may have heard of a Jewish rapper before, but not like this one. It's different. Judaism is like, and I don't push that on nobody. You know, I just, I just push dope music on people. Like he's talented, he's really good, but he's so um, dedicated to it. I think that sets him apart too. I can honestly say Coach Dills may be the hardest, in the top three hardest working people in the music business that I've ever met. It's official, this cat be out here grinding. I'm grinding and wherever I'm at, I see this cat. We run into Coach everywhere, even in LA, he's everywhere. This guy's a madman on wheels. He shows up at all hip hop events, no matter where you go, you're gonna see this guy at some point. Kid got hustle, that's for damn sure. Good to see you, brother. Crazy news. The music business is, is, is tougher than ever now because there's, there's a dime a dozen of every person, everybody in the world can rap, can sing. In order to make money and sell an album, it's it's hard. It's the do-it-yourself world now, so you have to be your own everything. We're talking about Kosher Dills, you know, he's a, he's a perfect example of that. 99.9% .9 of it is the hustle. If you got a big truck, stack it up with a bunch of CDs and go out in front of every mall and every record store and go on your block and try to sell it. Grind and hustle. That's what you can do. I see him in every city I go to. He's really one of the hardest working people in show business. Kosher Dills. If you feel that it's real, I'm on trial and I'm here, yeah, yeah. Connecting with people and making a good presence in social media, he's really good at that. He gets it. Let's go! We're gonna fucking run up on people and freestyle for them and get everyone to take videos and shit. And awesome. These mad motherfuckers that's talented as shit but don't wanna do nothing for themselves. Coach should get up and do it for himself. Like, if I could get like 100 people to tweet out my shit tomorrow by just talking to 100 people. I freestyle rap a lot. I'm gonna be rapping for everyone's website. I'm rapping for everybody tonight. Everyone give me their card and I'll plug their business. Here we go, here we go. I'm a rapper, what do you want? He's an artist that just gets it. A lot, a lot of guys are waiting for in like a big break or a record company to push, push a, a big button and, and, and make it happen for them. And he, he's an artist who is not waited around for, for anybody. Don't cheat yourself, treat yourself. So says the Ellis MC right now. His hustle is inspiring. I didn't even really start touring until I met Kosha Bills. He's just taught me a lot about business in general. If there's a stage and, and he wants to get on it, he's going to get on the stage. He jumped up in between people's sets and kind of did some freestyle. He's a grinder, you know? He'll, he'll spend his hard-earned money, worm, worm his way into the show. <laughs> he be everywhere rapping. He loves jumping up on stage and rapping. He's got a lot of heart. Whirlwind Storm, Coach of Dills. The way that he just hustles constantly, I, it's got to get him somewhere. <laughs> Who the heck is that guy? Yamaka to the side, fly limp, lean, bomb rush, every show with no team. More merch, the headliners get more cream. Wake up at my mom's house, what